G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. About to go out for a run this morning. I am wearing this cycling slash incline marathon shirt that I got when I was in the States on the bike tour in America. And I wore this like most days there for a while. It smells like an American bike tour. All right guys, run is done. Ended up running 6.4 Ks at four minutes 17 pace. Not bad. Just trying to get a longer run into the legs. So then, by the next couple of days, I should be able to be comfortably running 10Ks. Pretty easy. Let's go for a walk down to the shops. Just to try and walk out this morning's run. Feeling a little bit tight and sore. I'm gonna get some groceries so I can make up some smoothies and stuff. I haven't really had some smoothies in quite a while. And I've been missing the nutrients boost and just the amazingness it makes you feel. So I'm gonna stock up on some smoothies. <laughs> All right, check this out. This is the aftermath for the smoothie construction yeah, this morning. <laughs> Just been working away on the computer basically all day today. At the moment, I'm working on creating the listings for Etsy for the vintage items that I picked up a few days ago that I have listed on eBay, but I haven't yet got on Etsy. So I've just managed to list the Lion King, Rolling Stones, Ricky Martin, and the Kooji sweater as well. And I think I have probably another four or five items to get up on Etsy for sale. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I do cross list both eBay and Etsy items on both platforms. If it is vintage, it goes on Etsy and it goes on eBay. But I make sure as soon as I sell it on either one of those platforms, I immediately pull it from the other one just to ensure that there's not double sales going on because that can be detrimental, so I just try to stay on top of that. And I find it's a good tactic to open up the item to multiple audiences. So I have now hit active listings of 30 on Etsy. So that's probably the most I've ever had for sale on Etsy. Just trying to organize the stock that I picked up from the last few days as well. It's been just stored in a box back there, and it hasn't got any inventory codes on them. So I've got to organize all that stuff, and I've been working on that at the moment. That also helps to improve the activity level on the eBay listings, which can result in further sales. So I do like to do that separately instead of including it as I list the item. Instead, give it another opportunity to edit that item and then add that in there. So then it can potentially inject more potential visitors to the item, if that makes sense. But today's vlog is probably gonna turn out to be a bit of a short one. Just been doing a lot of behind the scenes work uh, just stuff on the vlogs and my blog and all that sort of stuff. Uh, just boring stuff that's not really vlog worthy stuff. Also just been reading this book here called Dot Com Secrets. It is a very good book if you're considering starting up your own online presence. So I'd really recommend it for that purpose. However, just a quick reminder that tomorrow is Q&A Sunday. So if you do have any more questions, you guys have left quite a few questions from the previous Sunday for what I should answer in tomorrow's video. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments of this video here and I'll try my best to answer it in tomorrow's video. But that is it for today's vlog everyone. Thank you for following along today and I'll see you guys in hopefully a more entertaining vlog tomorrow. Bye.